Hey, it's Front Row Phyllis with your weekend highlights for the weekend of September 21st. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I know what I smell around here, and that is fall. So everything from the pumpkin lattes to the pumpkin spice to the pumpkin this, and one of my favorite things to do is apple picking. Have you guys gone yet to the apple orchards, any of them, to go apple picking? It is so much fun. Then I think that you also have hay rides available there, and you could buy apple pie that's already made. And oh my goodness, I'm already thinking about that. I might have to skip some of these concerts this weekend and head over to the apple orchard. What do you guys think? Anyways, let's get started because we got a lot of shows. If you haven't heard, the house will actually be rocking tomorrow evening on Saturday over at the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater. It's one of the last shows at the end of summer. And I'm talking about Kid Rock is here with Bradley Gilbert. And they are here on their red-blooded rock and roll redneck extravaganza. Now, I want you to save that about five times because it wasn't so easy just to say it once. Anyways, you know what they're saying is it's not for politically correct pansies, dudes who wear French cowboy boots, or anyone who thinks the Kardashians are smart business people. And... If you don't fit into that category, then you need to head over to the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater and check out one of the biggest country shows tomorrow evening. Well, if you're not going to head over there, then maybe you'll make a stop over at the Chicago Theater. Yep, Ringo Starr, one of the Beatles, is going to be here with his all-star band. You know, this show actually features classic hit after hit. With each member, each of the all-star um, band a member brings uh, to the set the most popular songs. Like each of these are their top, top musicians that he brings on stage. And they all get to perform one of their hits or two of their hits or three of their hits. And Ringo actually just recently said um, that about this tour is that there's no greater joy for him to play great music with great musicians and great friends. So he actually calls it his Peace and Love Festival. So you got to check it out. Again, it is tomorrow evening over at the Chicago Theater. Well, the house will also be rocking down the street over at the Allstate Arena. And that is because J. Cole is in town. He, of course, is here on his KOD tour making it his eighth headlining tour in support of his latest album, which is his fifth album. Special guests are going to be here on the tour um, is Young Thud. And I have to tell you that so um, along with scoring the biggest streaming week for an album so far in 2018, KOD has earned the third biggest streaming week for an album in history. So the show is what they are saying, that it's just a can't-miss outing for his fans. And I can assure you, I think he's going to be getting uh, some more fans. So definitely head over to the Allstate Arena. Well, this is something really fun. It's actually the 34th annual American Craft Expo. It runs uh, today through Sunday, uh, the 23rd, over at the Chicago Botanic Garden. This is actually one of the country's premier fine crafts, um, showcasing over 140 artesian exhibitors, one-of-a-kind pieces, luxury collectors, as well as uniquely um, creative museum quality artwork. There is everything from, I mean, I was looking at the roster, everything from beautiful furniture to wearable items like clothing that you've never seen before, one-of-a-kind glass and jewelry, metal, and plus more, so much more. So you want to check that out over at the Chicago Botanic Gardens this weekend. Again, it starts today through Sunday. Well, I got something for the little kids, so you want to jump on this. And the reason why I'm telling you, because it actually kicks off next Thursday on September 27th, and it only runs until the 30th. So it just goes Thursday to Sunday, and your kids are going to be upset if you didn't get tickets. And that's right. I'm talking about Disney on Ice Frozen, and it's over at the Allstate Arena. And what's so great is they have everything from morning to matinee and evening performances. So it's for everybody. So I remember when my kids were actually really little, and they would get up at, you know, what, 5 o'clock in the morning. So you're like, by 10 o'clock, it was already afternoon to you. So it's so great that they actually have 11 o'clock performances for those that get up so early. Um, 
what you do want to do, be a part of Anna's adventure to find her sister, of course, Queen Elsa, whose icy powers have trapped the kingdom into an external winter wonderland. Well, I have to tell you also, hosted by Mickey and Minnie, and then there are special appearances, which I didn't even know about until they told me today. Disney princesses are going to be there, Woody, Buzz, Dory, and so many more. So you definitely want to check it out. Again, it runs Thursday, September 27th through the 30th. So you want to uh, get some tickets for that and take the young ones. Well, today's secret password is love. So just put in the word love right below and get a chance to win a pair of sold out concert tickets. What I need you to do is go to the front page of the website and actually put in the word love. That's where we are actually hosting all of this for all of our giveaways. So just put that in the form, put the word love, and you get a chance to win a pair of sold out concert tickets. And I have to tell you, we have a slew of huge, huge concerts we're giving away for the fall. So you want to jump on that. Have a safe and stellar weekend.